our first sequence, we threw paint on the canvases and then applied hay and then mixed more paint in and bound the hay to the canvases with the paint. Now we're going to scrape off as much hay as possible uh, to create a less fluffy surface and to get whatever's loose off. But I've found in some earlier studies that if you scrape down into the embedded paint, you'll reveal a really nice woody texture in the paint that's adhered there. So I'm going to dig into this and I hope you enjoy it. And afterwards, we will take the painting outside and we're going to hit it with a propane torch and burn off all the hay shavings. This will uh, pick up from the hay some fibers and uh, the most efficient way to remove them is to burn them off. So enjoy the show! So these canvases have been drying for about two and a half weeks, and that paint is, or the uh, the hay, is really stuck to the uh, the canvas. Um, I think ultimately one of my issues will be to create on wooden panels. Uh, some of the strokes around the uh, supports behind the canvas are causing the, the corner of the scraper to dig in. So I'll have some, some patching to do there on the back side of the canvas, but I'm okay with that. I don't like a, a prissy process. I want them to be rough and tumble. Uh, this, is, this is durable goods. So I'm gonna continue scraping and work some of these piles down a little bit more. And then we'll take the torch to it. I want whatever's on there to be really on there. So if there's any loose material at all, even after going over it so vigorously, uh, it needs to come off. Now you can see the canvas flexing. If you use latex paint on canvas, you have to use semi-gloss so that it has the same amount of flexibility as the canvas does. Otherwise, with, with flat paint, you'll have an inflexible paint layer on a flexible surface and you'll get big cracks. So you can see there's some pieces here that don't want to rub off all over. And uh, that's what the torch is going to take care of. Thanks to my younger brother Joe for coming up with the idea of burning the hay. You can see it does a good job of burning the hay, but not the paint or the canvas. I make sure to do this outside, not so much because the paint is burning and generating toxic fumes, but because of the smoke. And I don't want that smoke smell in my, uh, in my studio. It will be in the canvas. So I'll probably varnish, varnish these before uh, bringing them inside and working more with the paint. But it's so efficient and what a fun thing to do to your art.
that does a very efficient job of burning off all the extra stuff. So I'm just going to give it a quick brush. Knock some of the ash off. And then it's ready for the next step. Now I've got four, uh, three other canvases this size. They're going to become two diptychs, and then I have an individual panel 32 inches by 48, which will be a, a single painting in its own right. But uh, this is pretty much ready for the next step. I'll do this four more times, and the next time you'll see me will be live studio action, perhaps with a paintbrush in my hand.